Today on the show, I'm going to crawl through a year's worth of limited time Pop-Tarts. Hello, food freaks. Welcome to That's Rank. It has been months since we last took a look at Pop-Tarts, but that has not slowed the fine evil corporate overlords over at Kellogg's are coming out with new flavor option after flavor option in an effort to keep us hopelessly addicted to the brand. And today we're going to be reviewing these eight eye-popping options. Boston Cream Donut, Frosted Apple Fritter, Frosted Mocha Latte, Lemon Cream Pie, Peach Cobbler, Pink Lemonade, Red, White, and Blueberry, and to get Christmas started early, Snickerdoodle. And just because it's not raining today and thus it's not a weapon of mass destruction, I have brought my toaster along for the ride so that we can do this upright. Let's pop us some tarts. Let's go ahead and do today in alphabetical order, which starts us with one of the weirder options with the Boston creme donuts. And I don't know why they went with the French spelling of cream when this is Boston based, because the only foreign language they speak in Boston is Bostonian. You want to kill a donut? So donut grab something from Dunks. It's got plenty of charm, you skeeza. Okay, so there's like nothing donut actually happening here at all. This is your usual hard as a rock pastry, but judging from the picture on the front, they've stuffed it with the yellow uh, creme beneath the layer of chocolate frosting. Wow, that was fast. Impressive. Ow, 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 ow. All right, sure enough, it looks like we've got that uh, leaky yellow stuff on the go. And if we get in close enough here, we can probably play a game. Is that a Pop-Tart or an infection that needs some antibiotics? Okay, so obviously the biggest thing missing with this is the actual donut component because a Pop-Tart is drier than a peppermint fart. And the whole thing that makes a Boston cream so good is the resounding fluffiness with the super custardy middle. The custard inside the Pop-Tart, not bad, but it's almost overtaken by the layer of chocolate because there's like an even distribution of chocolate to custard, which has the ratios all out of whack. A real Boston cream donut should be like eight parts custard to one part chocolate. Okay, we're gonna be setting the bar real high on this one today. And basically to get into the S tier, you're gonna have to be on par with the wild berry Pop-Tart. And this, not, not even close. This is C tier material is what this is. It's fine if you needed a quick snack and it was around, you could go ahead and have at it, but you shouldn't be the person spending money on this because you're better than that. Frankly, your palate is much too wise. So Apple makes sense as a fall release, but uh, oddly this came out in the spring alongside the Boston Creme because they were on some weird donut kick at that point. Thankfully though, Pop-Tarts never expire. Um, so I've got mine and we're gonna hear all about it now when it's much more seasonally appropriate. So it looks like they're actually going a whole lot more subtle with the icing on this one. And I do hope to God that means they've amped up the actual pastry because if it's one of their usual bland, flavorless cardboard exteriors, this is gonna suck. I feel like we should be using our toasting time constructively together. Uh, did I ever tell you about the time I refereed a midget boxing match in the red light district of Makati? So the one guy is just throwing meat and the other guy, he's had like 12 shots of tequila and doesn't feel a thing. And uh, we'll get back to that later because these smell pretty good, uh, much better than the first one. So ah, yeah, 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 let's get them out and take a crack at them to take a closer look. Okay, so these are all basically the same color on the inside and out. Um, I guess that's supposed to be like apple pie filling. Maybe, I, I don't know. Kellogg's, do you understand that an apple fritter and an apple pie are not, in fact, the exact same thing? Yeah, th this is basically apple pie. And I'm cool with that. I can overlook the fact that it's not as advertised because it's still pretty good. I would have liked if they'd gone the fritter route, and I can't even believe I'm about to say what I'm about to say about a Kellogg's Pop-Tart, but these needed more sugar. But beyond that, it's pretty good. It's got the warm cinnamon, it's got some nutmeg, a little bit of brown sugar, and tiny, tiny little chunks of apple. Mind blowing, I I'm sure. You're, you're not gonna believe this, but fun fact, tiny little chunks used to be my online dating name. Unfortunately, what's dragging this one down is the pastry. It's because they didn't do anything special to it, and there's not enough icing to cover up the fact that these really aren't all that good. Um, but because the apple pie filling is good, let's go B tier with it. I think it's a worthy buy at the grocery store and good if you're looking to have a little bit of pie on a budget. You know, I, I don't even know if this one is a fun limited time option. I've just never had it before and it looked good. I like, and I like this a lot, the fancy little designs they've got on the icing here. 
I guarantee like it tastes like a big old load of nothing, but that's kind of the whole fancy coffee experience. You know, hey, let me draw a little heart on your cappuccino here. It literally adds nothing to the drink, but I'll charge you an extra $3 for the experience. Okay, so like I was saying, the first guy is just dropping haymakers like he's got a war to win, and that's when some woman who goes by the name of Mama taps me on the shoulder. I, I finished downing my beer, and we're into round 13 now. These guys haven't given up. It's 1.30 in the morning, and somehow as the referee, I'm the most exhausted guy in the entire place. And, oh, these actually smell quite from it. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, pretty basic guts in this one. It's uh, it's like a thick filling, uh, looks very chocolatey. Uh, the icing's a lot more impressive than what's on the inside, to be honest with this one. You know, for something that looks and sounds so incredibly fancy, um, I'm unimpressed. The icing, very generic. It's just sugar. And I'm not actually getting a lot of coffee flavor out of this one. It's essentially just a repackaged chocolate Pop-Tart. I expected something way different and this isn't it. There's like a gentle hint of coffee way, 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 way in the back of the room, pressed up against the wall like a young man at his first boy-girl dance. Um, you'd have to really be looking for that young man, but he, he's there. He's nearly invisible, but he's there. If I wanted a chocolate Pop-Tart, I'd just get a chocolate Pop-Tart. This one's so far off the mark, I'm actually gonna put it in the D tier because it's not actually a bad Pop-Tart. The flavor, it's fine, but I can't overlook just how much it's actually missing. While I forgave some aspects of the apple fritter, for example, at least it was still apple -y. This one doesn't come even close to delivering on its promise. This has got to be the biggest letdown I've had since the time I rented Mario was Missing for the Super Nintendo all the way back in 1993. Okay, seriously, you can't even stomp on Koopas. You have to answer educational questions to get ahead in the game. I don't want to learn when I'm playing Nintendo, I just want to wreck shit. Okay, so we're still on this weird creme thing going on over here, and this has to be one of those FDA regulations, doesn't it? Because maybe if they were to call it cream, the food police will come busting down the doors at Kellogg's and... I don't know, force them to pay a living wage to their workers or something. Uh, what the hell is this? You see that picture right there? That's a lemon meringue pie is what that is. It's got lemon curd, it's got meringue. You know what you don't see in there? These weird skin grafts or blackheads. Like, seriously, my, my Pop-Tart needs a dermatologist. Sorry, no story time right now. That Pop-Tart's living rent-free in my head right now. Oh, good, the weird looking Pop-Tarts are ready. Ow, 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 ow. You know, I probably should have zoomed in and taken a closer look earlier. I think that those are just sugar crystals. Weird looking sugar crystals. Um, at least I hope that's what it is. I'm trying to talk myself into that's what it is right now. Let's take a look at the filling. Yeah, it looks uh, very lemon. That's not right. Like, it's good, but something's off. Lemon meringue pie doesn't have vanilla, really. Maybe a little bit in the meringue, but this right here is very vanilla. It's even more vanilla than I am. Lemon flavor's good, but when a sour flavor is overwhelmed by vanilla, you've got a serious problem on your hands. Despite being edible, I'm gonna put this in the F tier because this is just how wrong they actually got this stuff, which sucks. I love lemon meringue pie. And yes, I know they didn't call it lemon meringue, they called it creme, but you know what they were going for. And this one's a huge miss. And judging from the package, these ones appear to be suffering from the exact same skin breakout that the lemon ones were. Seriously guys, the sugar crystals are really creeping me out on these. You gotta save that for, I don't know, sugar cookie flavored Pop-Tarts maybe? I don't know where else you would put sugar crystals on things. Uh, oh, maybe a blue Breaking Bad themed Pop-Tart? You can call it the Say My Name. You're goddamn right. I won't lie, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Ow, 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 ow. I am pretty stoked for these ones right now. Peach Cobbler for me is a personal favorite. It's such an underrated dessert up here in Canada. I will say, I do wish they had contrasted the icing and the filling a little bit, maybe gone with a white icing to complement the uh, orange interior. Like, I don't know if this is a Pop-Tart or the former president's makeup palette. Oh, 
Hey there. Hello. Now we're actually getting somewhere. It's not peach cobbler because I don't taste the buttery cobbler pieces in this, but it's definitely peach. A really good artificial peach flavor too. Kind of like what you would get inside of like a fuzzy peach, but without all the sourness. Man, this is legit one of my favorite Pop-Tarts that I've had in quite some time. It's not on par with wild berries. So for that reason alone, I'm gonna keep this in the A tier because it doesn't quite pass the gatekeeper to get into the promised land, but it's darn close, really close. If they had altered the crust for like a buttery texture maybe, or changed the icing to resemble something more like a vanilla ice cream, we'd probably be right there. It just needs a little bit something more, but as it is, it's still really, really damn good. This one was a summer 2022 release, and I've got absolutely no qualms with this one. In fact, uh, between you and me, I've been known to make my own pink lemonade at home sometimes. Uh, super easy if you'd like to do the same. What you do is you take a package of pink lemonade from the store and add water. What does bother me about this though is the weird designs that they are advertising on the front. Like, take a look at that one right there. That looks like Janice from the Electric Mayhem. Seriously, it looks like an 80s haircut walked into a tanning salon. Maybe toasting is gonna burn off that psychedelic nightmare. Maybe I should turn the settings all the way up to high to really, you know what, I'm kidding about that. Pop-Tarts catch fire really, really easily, and I'm speaking from experience. Okay, ay 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 oof, uh, and ay, creaky picture still front and center. I don't love that. Oh, but what I do love is the pink filling in this one. They've done a really good job with the overall contrast. I think the white icing really gives that pink filling a chance to pop and be the star of the show, as it should be. Of course, I forgot the most important part here. Lemonade isn't hot. I don't like this. It's not good. It's barely sour, and because I heated it up, it actually tastes more like a cold medicine. I feel like it was probably transported on the store shelves by a giant St. Bernard because this is literally Neo Citron. Going D tier, and I'm only giving it points for maintaining some degree of lemonade flavor in here, but I'm legitimately afraid that there might be some sort of antihistamine in here and I'm gonna fall asleep before the end of the episode now. Although, maybe it'll clear up my chest congestion that I've been dealing with. America. And now, you can build your own Pop-Tarts flag. Just tag them on Instagram for your chance to win. Oh, well, it seems here that the contest ended all the way back on August 26th and is only available for people living in the 50 recognized American states. Uh, well, f you too, Kellogg's. Not even recognizing Canada. Come on, like, we're far more important than, I don't know, Delaware. Like, I don't even think that that's a real place. I've never seen it on a map. See, now this is a far less terrifying use of the sugar crystals. I'm not afraid that by touching this Pop-Tart, it's gonna give me leprosy. You know, while that cooks, I think I'm just gonna sit here and think about some American stuff. I am so pumped full of vitamin USA that I'm ready to climb a mountain and fight a gorilla. Ow, 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 ow. So I think the sugar crystals, really, really good addition against the contrast of the white icing here. Actually, they did a really good job all the way around with the colors on this one, although maybe dyeing the blueberry blue uh, would be my only complaint on this because it looks more red than it does blue, but overall, I think they did what they were supposed to be doing here. Oh, hey, that's really good. Let's be real for a sec. It's just a blueberry Pop-Tart, but blueberry's always great. It's from the OG lineup, and the OG is always just gonna be getting it done. God, I'm on the fence right now. It's so good, but is it S tier? I can't do it. The S tier needs to be recognized the kind of place that only the purest of pure junk food can enter. This wants in so badly. It's trying, it's throwing every gimmick it can at me because it's got berries, it's got frosting, it's got pure American firepower, but it's just A tier. I love it, but again, it's just not there. All right guys, last chance of the day to make some magic happen. And yeah, I know, we haven't even celebrated Halloween yet. You might be wondering why on earth I'm diving into the Christmas Pop-Tarts. Actually, the truth of the matter is, I think I've probably had these since last Christmas. I have a lot of stuff to review. My office is less a place to work than it is a convenience store. Oh, oh my, what 
happens here? This Pop-Tart's been through some stuff. I feel like the factory workers may have stressed it out so much and now it's got liver spots. This thing is so frail, I'm not sure it's gonna make it. Oh well, you know what? If it dies, it's in the right place. Straight to cremation. Oh goodness, am I even gonna be able to safely get this out of here? Ay, 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 ay. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my God. Look at this thing. It's falling apart like an Instagram model whose last photo didn't get enough likes. Eh, fine. It's a cinnamon Pop-Tart. It's not a snickerdoodle. I don't know how they could have made a Pop-Tart into a snickerdoodle, to be completely honest with you. The whole thing that separates a snickerdoodle from other cookies is the soft, chewy cookie part of it. And you're not gonna be able to do that with a Pop-Tart, so I don't even know why they bothered. I'd call this, like, maybe put some icing on it and call it a Cinnabon flavor. C tier, it's fine, it's here, it's a perfectly acceptable Pop-Tart, but uh, Snickerdoodle it ain't. Well, not a bad little episode that we had here today. Uh, most of these, not great, but most Pop-Tarts generally aren't. However, Mad props to the peach cobbler for stepping up and being the best thing that we had today with the red, white, and blueberry really hot on its heels. Honestly, fruit is always the way to go in a Pop-Tart. Uh, when in doubt, fruit it up. Frankly, I've lived my life by that model and so should you. Catch you next time. <laughs>